Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude. I am here with my guest star, J53518. Hello! Oi, what the hell? Sorry, wrong movie. Um, hey guys, this is J5518 here. We're here to review. The Pirate, the Pirate Fairy. Fairy! So, J5518, what is the plot for this film exactly? I hate drinking the Neverland Pirates. Let's get, I need to get that out of my head. I'm sorry, but let's get to the plot. I'm sorry, folks. Why is hey, that show even made? <laughs> Why, Captain Hook? Why? But anyway, people, the plot is Zarina, one of the fairies, apparently wants to be the kid dust queen. Apparently she wants to have all the pixie dust to herself. She can be the most greediest little whore ever. But apparently when she finds pixie dust, she not only leaves Tink and him on an adventure, but she gets captured by Captain Hook and his band of merry men who want to take her on some excursion at somehow. So, I have to think about to save her and get the pixie ducks back. Pixie dust back. To Pixie Hollow. Before me and J Fred Three Five One Eight do talk about the movie, I just want to say very quick my history with all of these other films. I usually watch them on Disney Channel, like when I'm bored and I haven't seen them. I'm like, oh, I'll just watch them. So the other films I've seen on Disney Channel, The Pirate Fairy, I saw instantly mm -hmm. through Netflix. J Fred Three Five One Eight actually saw this film before I did. My history on the films are quick. Um. All of the Tinkerbell films, to me, they're definitely not the worst animation films I've seen. But they're just not that great of films, in my opinion. Like, they're not terrible. They're just, eh, to me. The quickest two seconds of your life. Never seen the other ones. Just this one. Back to the review. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so, The Pirate Fairy. Yeah, it's another Tinkerbell movie. It's just so-and-so. The point is to entertain the kids... Which I think is a good thing, and I mean, me being older, I can enjoy certain things about the film, mm -hmm. like, like positives about the Pirate Fairy. First of all, I think it's really cool that this one actually shows Captain Hook when he's young, and the crocodile that would, you know, try to bite Captain Hook, he is a little baby here, which I think is just so adorable. And I wouldn't say it's really an origin story, it's not really anything like that. The story for the Pirate Fairy just happens to connect with Captain Hook when he's younger and the little baby crocodile. I love the baby crocodile. He was just so cute. I just had to go, aww. Every time I saw him on screen, he was just so adorable. I love the crocodile. And um, Zarina, I actually thought um, it was pretty cool. I actually thought she was a cool character. I enjoyed how the first 15 minutes of this film focused on her being good and uh, without spoiling anything, there's a reason why she turned evil and is now the leader of all the pirates. So I enjoyed how they set the story for her. That one actually caught my attention a little bit. I was like, huh, that's actually pretty cool. The animation in all of these films are absolutely beautiful with nice details in all the characters and voice acting from all the actors, they're good too. For my negatives, they're predictable, you know exactly how it's gonna go, and it's all like, the storylines have so much potential to just raise the bar, but Disney never usually fully uses that potential. I know that's saying much for what's supposed to be aimed for kids, but I would hope at least a little more effort to entertain us in the last 20 minutes, it's very rushed, it's a little bit out of place, and I also thought the musical number that the pirates sang, not very memorable, like it was fine, I liked the lyrics to it, and hearing Tom Hiddleston as Captain Hooks, he did a really good job as Captain Hooks, by the way, the singing was good, but like the musical number overall, it could have been better, and then of course, there's the corny kid humor, like I laugh a few times, like a good old ha <laughs> ha, but there's other kid humor that's just all like, okay, that's for kids. Like, it doesn't make me cringe or anything like that. It's just like, oh, that's for the kids. That's cool. That's fine. Yeah, it's just an okay movie to me. J5, what do you think of The Pirate Fairy? <sighs> They're not the best movies around, I'll say that. But I will acknowledge that Disney's trying to get a new revenue in animation. It looks nice. I do agree with Tom Hiddleston. I don't know if Loki could sing so loud. I guess you could say he had to hit the low key to sound that note. Anyway, enough of the joke, but it's a shit joke. Anyway, the pirate song, like you said, were not memorable. I do love Little Baby Bobble, who's a little baby crocodile. That will, it's ironic that 
that these two enemies would eventually come to bite each other in the ass. Well, literally, the crocodile was to bite Hook in the ass and get his arm. Smee was kind of funny a little bit, you know, wobbling around, being the bumbling assistant, but he was very free-spirited, so I like that. The pirates are basically goofy, as you all know. Come on. They made the pirates from Pirates of the Caribbean look more butch. Jesus Christ. And that had Johnny Depp, goddammit. But anyway, I say the animation was nice. The plot could have been tweaked a bit to where the characters had full potential. It was rushed. I like I like Tiger Dude agreed. The last 20 minutes were just Oh, adrenaline. Like you went from one there to another. Like it like it was all like boom, boom, okay. Boom, boom, boom. All the fairies doing that. Boom, it's boom, like, boom, it's boom. like a run on scene. I thought the film was you know, it was alright. It's great for kids, but for adults like me and Tiger Dude. And Tiger Dude, I know we had the same idea, it's okay. Yeah, Tom Hudson was good as Captain Hook. It does connect a little bit of how the pirates know about the fairies. So that kinda leads into a little bit of Peter Pan, how Maybe we could think, we could kind of think of how Peter Pan met Tank and, you know, how that led to Captain Hook because these events are before the events of Peter Pan and Hook. So I could see why people would like this also. It's about the fairies, but it's in Neverland, so it's the same universe. Overall, the Pirate Fairy, the creators did a smart job of adding Captain Hook and the baby crocodile, younger, of course, to be in this film and have some kind of connections there. You know, it was entertaining, but... Like the plot, it definitely could have been better. Very rushed in the last 20 minutes. It's predictable. It's cliche. And like Captain Hook, he's all nice, but yeah. then you could pre you could predict. You knew at a point we were going to see him evil, and we do. It's not the worst animation film I've seen. It's just another Tinkerbell movie. So I'm going to give The Pirate Fairy two and a half out of four stars. It's a really great kids movie, like J5 said. But, like, for the older audience like us, it's just like, eh, so-and-so. I'm sure some adults could enjoy it, but for the most part, I think adults are just going to watch this movie going, eh. I am right there with you. 2.5 out of 5 on the Tiger J, not Tiger J, J5 meter. It is enjoyable for kids, and you had to be in that mindset to watch something for kids. Uh, granted, you had to be a kid to watch a kid's movie. No fucking nerd. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why people would watch this film. Because they want to reconnect to the Peter Pan franchise. I mean, this is part of Neverland, right? So it's at a different time and place. Then again, Tinkerbell is the biggest thing now. I mean, she's basically the face of Disney. She shoved Mickey Mouse out of her place. Fuck you, Tinkerbell. I love Mickey more. Arr! But anyway, I still love the Peter Pan movies and Hook, which is very good. Great voice talents from Rob Paulson, Christina Hendricks. You have Mae Whitman, Lucy Liu, Raven Simone. That's a raven. Megan Hilty. I mean, we got the great Jim Cummings. That's Winnie the Pooh right there. Kevin Michael Richardson, Jeff Bennett, and Grace Delisle. They all lend the talents to bring these characters to life. But, you know, like I said, if it was tweaked in and it was a little more mature, then I might get into a little more. But otherwise, it's... Uh, meh. It's meh. So-so. Thank you for reviewing the Pirate Fairy with me, j 551 a Please check out his channel. I will leave a link in the description below. As always, the J53518 here. You can always wish upon a star, but make sure you find a star, not an asteroid. This is J53518 signing off. I'm off. Peace out, people. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.